So remember when I said there's good days and bad days? This is not turning out to look like a good day. Okay. Hey guys. If you haven't met her already, this is Kona. This is our new kitty. She looks like a leopard. And today, we are going to take Kona for a walk. But walking a cat is not as easy as it sounds. But all in all, all it takes is a lot of dedication and... Patience. A lot of patience. If you have those two things, you'll be set. Hey girl. Um, now, the first thing that you have to do is get their harness on and get them used to wearing their harness. So what we've done in the past is just have Kona wear her harness throughout the house, <laughs> getting a little antsy. All we've done is put her harness on and let her wear it throughout the house. And you'll see when you first put it on a kitty, they'll kind of freak out and walk a little bit weird. But after you do it a couple of times, they'll get used to it and it should be no problem. We started really young with Kona and the harness, like before 12 weeks old. And we got her when she was 12 weeks. Um, and we just used to let her wear it around the house for her short intervals of time until she's used to it and now it's nothing this is just the cheap little harness that we've had um it is the cheapest which is a bonus and she seems to have no problem with it show off how awesome you are after your kitty is used to wearing its harness the next thing you have to do is get it used to the leash again same thing as the harness put it on around the house like take them for a walk around the house and they should get used to it very very quick okay kona's ready for a walk her harness is on let's go <laughs> <laughs> Once your cat is used to its uh, harness and leash, now it's time to take it out into the wilderness, out, into the outdoors. So the first thing that we like to do is pick a spot that has minimal amount of traffic and minimal amount of people. Thank goodness right now we're still kind of in quarantine or self-isolation stages, so there is nobody around. So that's good news. Yep. Um, the other thing we like to do is get away from any traffic and vehicles. So we're in a secluded location, but the other thing that we also have to do is get away from the vehicle because she knows where the truck is. And if she sees it, she gets fixated on it and she, she keeps always trying to beeline it back to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So we get out of the line of sight from the vehicle and then we can put her down and get her used to the environment. So we usually just put her down and give her like a place to walk around and sniff climb around the tables if she wants for a bit and then we'll try walking. Let's get to it. You ready to come out? Right now we're just going to give her some time to get used to the fact that she's outside, that there's a cyclist behind her. <laughs> yeah. Stop me, is that a kitten? Yes. Beautiful barking. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, she normally goes out more than this when we first set her down, so. She seems pretty chillaxed right now. Go explore. Some days when we go out, some days it's a good day, some days it's a bad day. We actually went out yesterday and yesterday was a horrible day. She did not want to walk at all. We had to carry her most of the way. But today I think it's a lot quieter over here. Mm -hmm. There's less wildlife. That might've been a little bit of a problem. There's no wind. In Lethbridge, there's wind 90% of the time. So I think this is going to be a perfect day. She seems really calm right now. Lots of the times one of the cues that it's not going to be a good day is that she's trying to climb every tree around here right now. And that's not the problem right now. This is a good reminder that she's really young. She's learning that not every day is going to be perfect. She's still getting the hang of it. Despite us sometimes getting frustrated. Point is that we keep going back out there and like only going to what her limits are. Oh, oh I think she's ready to go. I think she's ready. <laughs> ready to go for a walk? No trees. Come on, Kona. Psst, 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 psst. Kona. Kona. Right, she's psst, psst, psst. Oh, he break already. Come on, Kona. Kona. Psst, 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 psst. Kona. Psst, 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 psst. Kona. Kona. <whistles> Kona. Come here. Hey, dingle bat. Kona. Recognizes no noises. Yes, you've tried Come them here. all. Psst, 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 psst. Good girl. Kona. Psst, psst, psst. Come here. Come here. Where 
on. Got that out of your system now? So remember when I said there's good days and bad days? This is not turning out to look like a good day yet. This is like, like we said, patience and dedication. You'll get there. This is a medi medium day, a mediocre day. She hasn't tried to climb everything in sight, but she hasn't quite figured out the linear walking system yet. We do help that it finds if we find an actual trail that's like kind of beaten down like this one here that she does tend to follow it sometimes but right now she's just trying to climb the tree so what we usually do is we get this is like a secret pro hack that i think we figured out if you get two people out here get a really long leash like this is probably a 10 foot leash i'd say um, you get two people on the trail one goes far up ahead so that it can call the little kitty and then one obvious person obviously has to stick with her but we find that if Chelsea goes up about 10 feet, stops, calls her, then the kitty goes up to Chelsea. She gets lots of pets rewards. You can do that with treats as well. Um, when we're outside, Kona really doesn't respond to treats too much. So she just gets lots of pets and lots of, lots of uh, good kitties. <laughs> but we find if we do this little routine that after like three or four times, she starts to get it and she'll just actually end up walking with us. So she found a tree that she wants to climb, but we'll try regardless. I'm gonna move. Up. Five ten Hold feet up the trail, come on. and then we call. Kona, come on! Kona, come on! Good girl. Here come she on. comes. And then oh. she finds another tree. <laughs> we almost had it. We've done this enough times already that every time I go about five feet up the trail, she's getting used to just coming and following me. Yep. And just like that, we're walking with a kitty on a leash. Doing so good. Okay, we made it probably fifty feet. Now there's a distraction. There's kids playing on the uh, bridge over there, so she's kind of fixated on it. But patience and dedication, we'll get through this. Come on, Kona. Come on. Kona. Come on. Keep coming. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Much more relaxing when she's walking. Not interested in the water? <laughs> I would say that that was a wildly successful walk for Kona. Yep. She walked like probably only almost like 10 minutes straight. Well, kitty walk <laughs> for almost 10 minutes straight before she like literally just flopped over and that was the end of it. Yep. And then she went back in her carrier, which she loves and she was good to go. Here she is. <laughs> hey girl. Hey. We are lucky. This isn't always the case. Sometimes it is like herding cats to <laughs> walk Kona outside. Yep. Um, but like Curtis has said many times, it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of learning her boundaries and what she's willing to do, knowing her mood. There's a lot of behind the scenes that go into even getting us this far. Like Kurt said, the fact that she likes her harness, that's fantastic. Doing things like keeping your cat on a feeding routine rather than letting them free graze all the time allows you to, if your cat's like very motivated by treats, that's gonna help you out in this process. Kona's also clicker trained. That helps a lot in this process. And the other big tip that I wanted to point out before we conclude this video is that actually getting your cat accustomed to the outdoors. Before we even took Kona with the intent to walk her on the leash, we just take her out in the front yard and let her wander around. Yep. Seeing a tree, like the first time she saw a tree branch was like a whole new world. So letting her get a little bit more accustomed to those things before the expectation of her actually walking with us. Even the first couple of times you go out, you might just have to go out and literally just sit in the grass and let them get used to it because there is a lot of new sounds. 
uh, new weather, wind in their ears even bothers them sometimes. So just take it nice and slow. And Kona's still got a long way to go too. She still gets scared when other people walk along the path and she's still gets scared by bikers. So yeah. we're gonna keep taking her out every day until all those things become second nature. But yeah, that's it. Hi. It looks like Kona's ready for a snuggle. <laughs> so uh, thanks guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.